tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Cocoa Pods on the new M1 Apple Max. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new Xcode project. Next thing that you want to do is uh, select the CocoaPod that you want to install. So let's close uh, Xcode up, then go into a terminal, go to that folder on our desktop. So to get this to work, what you need to do is uh, you need to go into Finder, go to Applications, go to Utilities. And what you want to do is duplicate this terminal app like I did over here. Now right click on it and get info. Now we're going to change the name to, for this example I'll just say number 3, terminal 3. And uh, what you want to do here is select this open using Rosetta option. Now close this and now we can open this up. So instead of using this first terminal, we're going to be using the one with Rosetta. So let's CD. Okay, so we are in our test. Now, next thing that you want to do is go to CocoaPods and copy this command. So, install CocoaPods. <coughs> and uh, run this command also. So, we're going to do sudo gem install ffi. Now, once you do that, you should have Cocoa Pods in your on your computer. So let's do pod init, and then open up the pod file. And here we're going to do pod. Let's say Swift Lint, and pod install. Great. Now we can do LSL and uh, now we can do XED period to open up the workspace. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll be posting more videos in the future and have a great day.